what's up what's up what's up people so if you're a new collector to pokemon card trading game this will be the video for you it teaches you about some of the newest and best products um i don't have them all on hand but i am just going to tell you some really good brands i'm not point of everything but i know a bit about um things and Yu-Gi-Oh cards i do have you know i do collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards but I literally just started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh. So, I don't have a ton of cards, but I will say this. I do not have any binders or anything. First, first thing, packs. So, let's say I open... Do I have any, like, empty? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, when you open a pack of Pokemon cards, you immediately think, just throw the wrapper away, like this brilliant stars. You know, I had it over there. You know, even if it's like really damaged, like this one just ripped it open. No. Don't. Don't just throw it away. Think about this. Old packs. People don't, they're limited, just like the cards, just like the packs. Because they don't make them anymore. Just like these things... These are limited, just like the actual cards in the packs, in full of cards. So, if you're a fake collector, don't do them, because I know you're kind of going to fill fake cards with them and then glue them back together. But keep them. They set wrappers, like, a, a, like they set Charizard wrappers, go for a bit of money. People collect them, too. So, you know, like, got some Pokemon Go, got some Fusion, got some the Origin of the... I ripped it! You know, it depends on what the condition of the pack really is. I don't think you can get these things graded. I'm not really sure about that one, though. But, like, it was a pretty decent condition on, like, this Lost Origin one. It could sell for money. So, this is a collecting guide, isn't it? This is, like, the help to brands. But, for, when you start the brand, I'm just trying to give out some tips. Um, this is not, like... Okay, I'm gonna give you some brands now. So... I just want to mention that because a lot of collectors mess up with that. So, I just, I really just want to get that out there. Yes, let's continue. I'm sorry. So, with stuff brands and stuff like that, the best thing you first ever want to do when you're collecting Pokemon cards is get a sleeve. Get sleeves. Let me explain with sleeves. You can buy them from various different brands. None of them can really be necessarily bad. Mostly penny sleeves. You can find those. I don't know what a certain brand of those. Mainly penny sleeves. This, and you can also buy like from Elite Trainer Boxes like these. So this is a Lunala from 2017. And these are a little bit rare and more expensive penny sleeves. But they are not as good. Like they're not like better than penny sleeves. But you know. They just look cooler. Um, another thing is I bought these from Ultra, Ultra Pro at Walmart. Um, so these things, you know, do get that little things around them. That didn't make cards perfect. They just slap it in. Pets Pokemon cards. It's not fit at Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything like that. The Pokemon guy, by the way. If it's perfect, take it out. Video, just chill, relax if you're new to collector. Tips, tricks, all the things to do. Okay, sleeve. So that's the first thing you want to get when you start collecting anything. Next thing you want to get is a box or a binder, something like that. So boxes could be, let's say you get a tin, a tin, and stack them up in top loaders, like, like that. Or just in regular sleeves if you don't have you know, money something like that to get a binder. Binders are always the best choice, though. 
boxes still work. Here's a pretty nice binder. It's made by Ultra Pro. Um, YouTube you binder goes for around 20 30 bucks. Really nice binder. Um, another very good brand is Vaultex. Vaultex is pretty good. Um, so, what I would not recommend is ring binders. Three ring binders. So, the binders that have the rings, they get stuck and they really are not good. Um, if they're like the little tiny rings, it's not as bad. But if they're like big rings, like this thing, card guard, like this, do not get them. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I proves my point. It's just not that good, so I would not recommend those. For binders, you know, those brands I just mentioned. Next, we have top loaders. What you do is simple. We have a sleeved Pokemon card. Have a sleeved Pokemon card. Right here we have a sleeved Pokemon card and a penny sleeve. Let me show you the um, difference between a penny sleeve and a normal sleeve. So penny sleeves are just little thin little things in your don't you do like this? Like bend it. Oh, and just slide it down. These are more thicker, you know, kind of thick. Thicker. So so we have this thing. What we'll do, we'll put it in the nice little penny sleeve. And then we will slide it right into the top loader. Just like that. Stay safe. Next are card savers. We have the card saver. Ultra Pro. Top loader you can get from mostly any company. It doesn't really matter card savers basically the same thing they just look like this have a little thing at the top and you just slide them in basically just a top loader not that much different but with, with top with card savers you don't with top loaders you merely just put cards you can put a lot of other things like packs lots of other different things example top loaders have the side up here fits perfectly in next we have that's basic well that's basically everything that you need to know about starter collecting Pokemon cards. If you want to protect your cards anymore, you want to get them graded. This is where it gets tricky. You have to go to multiple websites, you have to search them up, send in the card, may or may not get it back. It's it's a risk, but if you if your risk really comes out, it really comes out pretty good. Let's say you have a um, Charizard V Max shiny from Shiny Fits. If you, know, if you did not know, it's around a hundred. Map market price is kind of around, going around a hundred, hundred twenty, in the hundred zone. If you graded that card at a in, in, in a ten, so like the grades is it's one really bad, ten really good. So you know, you get like a nine, pretty pretty. It's pretty. It's all right. Eight, mm, seven. Six depends on what card, though. If it's a six, it can still go for a thousand dollars. If it's a black star, you know, if it's a charger or something like that. If it's five, four, three, and two, one, that's all. So, the grades that our branding companies that I recommend you call them slabs is a PSA. PSA. Um, PSA, pretty well trusted, pretty well trusted. Next one is CGC. Um, CGC is always good. You know, just, it's alright. So with CGC and another brand I'm about to talk about, they can get like 0.5. They don't do like 0.3 or anything, they just do 0.5. So a gym mid is 10 for PSA. They have like little different names. Like for a one, it's like fair or something. I don't think it's fair. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. So let's say you get a like a nine, it's mint. When you get a ten, it's gem mint on PSA. For CGC, when you get a nine point five, I believe it's gem mid. 
And when you get a 10, I believe it's called like a black label. No, when you get a 10, because a way you can get a 10 is like they grade each thing in its particular thing and then they put it all together. So they they, they just do point out. It's very confusing. And for Beckett, same thing. It's just CGC and Beckett are extremely harsh on greetings. It's like if you have a gem mid card, like one dude, um, I was one of my buddies. I think Lean Hart's done it too. Um, he sent a thing to PSA, got a gem mid ten, and then he cracked it open. Um, no, yeah, he sent it to Beckett first, and it got a um nine. Not even gym mid. That's like an eight compared to PSA. And then even the PSA got a gym mid too. So that'll do it for you. Hope you have good collecting. Hope you have fun with it. And remember, collecting is the way. Peace out. See you later. Bro, I didn't do it.